also has major crops are almonds, walnuts, pistachios, processing tomatoes, pickling cucumbers, sunflowers, alfalfa, wheat, grains, forage. Very diversified. My research program focuses on human-wildlife interactions in human-dominated landscapes. So the motivation behind our research is to understand the costs and benefits of habitat-like hedgerows so that farmers can make decisions about installing them. We did an experiment over two years in alfalfa fields to understand the effects that birds might have on the alfalfa weevil. What we found was that when there was some kind of woody vegetation along the edges of fields, a minimum of two small trees, that reduced the abundance of those alfalfa weevils by 33%. Our orchard floors were just so, so heavily cracked to the point of losing nuts down the cracks. First began the phase of rebuilding our soil. That was done with cover crops and compost. And then it kind of was like, wow, you know, check that out. And now we didn't have all these weeds and, you know, we just mow the cover crop and we didn't have to spray. Then I hope that I pushed bullseye towards year-round habitat for beneficial insects and smaller animals. If you plant it, they will come. Especially if you're using native habitats, if you're using native trees and shrubs that will sustain native insects, you will get those native birds in those hedgerows, those tree lines, those riparian areas. The Almond Lane habitat area is unused land in the middle of two almond orchards that has semi-aquatic weeds. The rest of that area is native willow brush that's home to quail and other bird species already. So we're going to plant that two acre area to a hedgerow, native grasses and flowers. It's the insectivorous birds that are utilizing that habitat for breeding in and for finding other prey in, and then they're going out into the fields and catching pest insects. This habitat, especially things like hedgerows, are really used differently in different seasons by different birds, but by and large, they are usually supporting the insectivorous and beneficial birds that we want on farms. Now I plan I'm planting this mile and a half long hedgerow down a major county road, and while I'm not removing any orchard space, it's gonna be bordering right up to our field road. I would just tell a grower to start something that you think that you can manage and then as you get more comfortable you just keep pushing planting something bigger or you know finding somewhere else or adding more species and there is a lot of assistance available through you know our local and state governments through the NRCS or through the Healthy Soils Project. I think it's important for farmers to know that you're never gonna have no damage from birds and you're never gonna have birds actually remove every pest insect in your field. But when studies have been done that have compared the net effect of birds, where they've looked at both the benefits and the costs, in almost every case, the benefits outweigh the costs. There is a mental state change going on, which is really good.